Hello everyone, I'm JG and welcome back to Music Forever, where today I'm going to be reviewing the new Ghetto Baby EP from Kevin Abstract, the second release of his leading up to the release of his Arizona Baby album, or at the very least that's what the album is uh, going to be titled as of right now. Uh, the rollout for this album has been a little bit different than most with Kevin dropping collections of tracks uh, leading up to the release of the album as a whole, which should be coming out later on this week, or the, the week I'm releasing this video in. This second collection of tracks, uh, which is also bundled with the first collection of songs, by the way, however, I will not be talking about those first songs really here in this video, because I already did uh, do a review of those last week, which I will have linked in the description down below uh, if you want to check that out. I will be making a video though once uh, the final tracks for this album come out and in that video I will be talking about the album as a whole and you know how everything ties together and all of that so I will be retouching on those first three tracks again in the future. I'm just not going to do it here in this video because I don't really see the point in doing it right now when I'm going to do that in that video later on. Today I'm just going to focus on the three new songs that we got though of course there are some parts of these tracks that do seem to connect back to some of those first three songs and I will be mentioning those. So yeah, overall I really like the last three uh, tracks that Kevin dropped in the first batch of songs from this album that was released about a week uh, before this one was. I thought they were three pretty uh, great songs overall. I think the lyrical subject matter in them was a nice continuation of some of the themes that were present on Iridescence when it comes to uh, the members of Brockhampton, or in this case Kevin Abstract, kind of reflecting on his newfound fame and where that kind of puts him in life now, all the kind of negative things that come along with it. I like the fact that those three tracks had some new interesting production uh, aspects that weren't really present on any previous Kevin Abstract or Brockhampton material. Overall they were three tracks that had me really excited to hear the rest of this release. And with these next three tracks that we get, uh, I'm still uh, really hyped to hear this full album because these three tracks I think are just as good as the first three tracks that we got. Once again, uh, throughout these three new tracks that we get, a lot of the lyrics here deal with Kevin kind of, you know, taking a look at his own uh, position when it comes to his own fame and things of that sort. However, it takes a pretty negative uh, approach, I feel, across these three tracks. It was already pretty negative in some parts on the first three tracks that we got from this new album as well as to some extent on Iridescence as I said before. However, these three tracks in particular I feel uh, Kevin is really uh, showing some really negative aspects that have come along with his fame and rise in popularity as a result of Brockhampton's success. In particular the first track out of these three new songs that we get, Corpus Christi, sees Kevin really digging into a lot of the problems that he's had to deal with recently. He talks about in the opening lines of the song how he and I'm assuming the other members of Brockhampton have trouble coping about the situation that they're in. As a result he talks about trying coke for the first time while touring in Europe uh, in order to essentially deal with these problems that he has going on in his life currently. It paints a really dark and depressing picture and it really helps showcase exactly where Kevin has been you know recently. And then in the second verse of this track, Kevin really talks about how he constantly feels like whenever he thinks about himself as a person, he can only really think about himself in the context of other people that he knows, particularly how he constantly lets a lot of these people down, whether it be the other members in Brockhampton, who he feels may be upset with him for talking about all this personal stuff in his music that maybe they don't want necessarily to have it be talked about. He talks about former Brockhampton member Amir Van who recently was you know released from the group after that whole situation that went on last year and he talks about how he you know he wonders about what Amir thinks about him or even if he does think about him and if so what exactly he's thinking. Uh, he talks about family members and other people in his life and you know how he's let them down as well. Really Kevin is just beating himself up it feels like on this track but I feel like he does a really nice job of showcasing where he is at this point in time. He really showcases some of the darker, more negative aspects that come along with fame uh, that was the result of him uh, becoming more popular through Brockhampton. I really like seeing these themes and stuff on Iridescence and I like it here as well. The second new track that we get, Baby Boy, is one where Kevin is beating himself up a bit less, I feel, but still there's a lot of dark themes running throughout the lyrics of this track, especially in the opening lines of this song where Kevin's talking about uh, just feeling lost and how everything that he comes across that's truth just doesn't seem to be real to him. You get the sense that uh, he's just kind of disassociated from 
reality to some extent he's trying to cope with a lot of his problems and i really like the hook on this track as well and to anyone who thinks this hook might sound a bit familiar to them it is because it was originally used in one of the teaser videos that the band dropped for uh, i believe it was when they signed to rca for the first time it was just a snippet that was used originally there and it's been reworked here into this song Overall, it's a pretty great chorus. I like Ryan Beatty's performance on it overall. I think his collaborations with Brockhampton have been pretty solid overall, and this one is just another solid one to add to that collection of pretty good collaborations. I think it's a really catchy hook, easily the most standout chorus on this entire new collection of tracks that have been dropped. And then the final track from this thing, Mississippi, is one that feels a bit more low-key, even more so than the two tracks that preceded it. It once again carries a more depressing atmosphere that I think is really nice. I also really like the hook on this track as well and I think it's also pretty catchy too. And one thing throughout this, these three tracks and even the three tracks that we got last week is that I feel like Kevin Abstract's hooks have been really great throughout this thing. I know one of them was technically done by Ryan Beatty but still I think the hooks throughout you know these collection of songs that we've been getting have been really uh, great overall. I think Kevin's a pretty fantastic hook writer and these six songs that we've already gotten really showcase this because pretty much all of them are really catchy and earwormy and just get stuck in my head after just a couple listens even and just will not leave. Even the tracks that were dropped last week that I've been revisiting in the context of this, these new three tracks as well, every time I come back to them, they're so catchy, they're so sticky, they just will not leave my head. Outside of the hooks on this project, I feel like Kevin's performances during the verses are pretty solid as well. Compared to some of the first three songs that we got here, they're all a lot more low-key, personal sounding, like I said, really depressing as well. You don't really have any tracks on here like Big Wheels where he was just really uh, going in or a track like Joyride which had a bit more of an upbeat feel to it. All three of these tracks are pretty consistently sad and depressing to various extents, but I feel like Kevin's delivery always works for these three songs. And the production across these three new tracks is equally uh, low-key and uh, just depressing as well. I feel like it really fits the mood of these tracks very nicely. Overall, I think that these three new tracks that we got are a really great addition to this album that we're going to be getting later on this week. I'm really excited to hear the full product after hearing the first two parts of it because I think these first two parts overall have been really great. I really like the fact that Lyrically Kevin is getting really personal here on these tracks. I like the way that some of the lyrics from these two parts that we've already gotten tie into each other. I like the fact that the production is a little bit different than stuff that we've been getting previously with some of Kevin's solo material in the past or his stuff with Brock Hampton. Overall, there's a lot to enjoy here on these three new songs that we got. So if you're a Kevin Abstract fan, if you're a Brock Hampton fan, if you're just a fan of the style of music in general, uh, this is definitely something that you should check out. Uh, that is, if the, the full album isn't out yet, which, in which case, if that's the case when you're watching this video, you should probably check that out instead of this. But yeah, I just wanted to share my thoughts on these three new tracks, considering I shared my thoughts on the first three. And once again, I am going to be doing a full album review for this full album once it's finally all out where I'm going to be once again going into detail about all of these songs and uh, talking about them as a whole product too, not just, you know, in pieces. So uh, yeah, if you want to see that when it finally comes out, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on that kind of content. And if you want to see my review for the first three tracks that were released for this album, it's going to be linked in the description down below as part of my Brockhampton playlist, uh, where you can also find all my other Brockhampton related videos and reviews that I've done. Also, uh, if you like this review, I'd greatly appreciate it if you leave a like on the video down below. Uh, if you'd like to see more music-related content, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching, and stay golden.